Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today we want to talk about hating evil and clinging to good. When I was in high school, I went on a rafting trip, and it was a lot of fun. But we hit a part of the river where the rapids really picked up, and I was really foolish in that I didn't latch my life vest. So when I fell out of the boat, it came off. And when I got my head above the water, I was able to grab onto my life vest. And boy, I cling to that thing with every ounce of strength that I had. I'm here to tell you today, so you know the story worked out, but I'll never forget what it meant to cling to that life vest. As if if I let go, I felt that everything was lost. Check out what Romans chapter 12 and verse 9 says. The verse says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil and cling to what is good. I can't help but think of the imagery of me clinging on to that life jacket for dear life when I read this verse. The Christian life can be challenging because we're called to love people but not participate in the evil in it. We want to be true to our love for God and his people without compromising our values and continuing to abhor evil and to cling to what is good. If we do this in reverse, it may actually help us understand. If I cling to what is good, it will help me abhor what is evil and love without hypocrisy. When we stay connected to Christ, it challenges us from the inside out. Our life should start looking more like his. The more I look like him, the less I fit into the culture of this world, and the more I can love without hypocrisy. Sometimes people have a hard time separating our love for them as a person and our dislike for actions that are sinful and ungodly. We aren't called to validate people's bad behavior for those who don't follow Jesus. We're called to love them without hypocrisy. And by showing with our life, we are clinging to something that is good. Some of us feel this stress and pressure to resolve that tension for people. What do I do if they think love includes accepting and celebrating my sinful behavior? My response to you would be, take that burden off your shoulders. That's not what God has called us to do. He said, love without hypocrisy, abhor evil, and cling to that which is good. They got to work that out with God, and you aren't the Holy Spirit. So get comfortable with the idea that you can't fix people and you can't solve their problems. God is faithful to meet them where they're at. You just focus on what the scripture says. Be consistent with your actions. Don't be the Christian hypocrite. You aren't going to be perfect, but people can tell the difference between you sincerely trying and you just living a double life. Abhor what is evil. In an attempt to connect with a person, don't drop the standards that God set just to make somebody feel better about their behavior. Last, cling like I was to that life fest, to what is good. The Bible is filled with verses that help us live this life. Dig in and find them. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo.